I don't hate them. They're just not great. Probably not my favorite that we've tried. Next. I was, I was like a solid, like not too wild. Let's do this. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're trying different holiday foods from Trader Joe's. Uh, the first item we're trying is Trader Joe's Stalin Crisp. A crispy and sweet cracker inspired by a German holiday bread with raisins, powdered sugar, orange, and lemon peels. We're trying it with the Trader Joe's cranberry goat cheese. So this is the stolen cracker. For me, what I get first is like that big like hit of like s nice like orange peel. Mm -hmm. And it's not overly sweet, which is kind of nice. So it's kind of balanced, but I just really get that like citrusy and then like the ra raisins kind of provide like a more like gooey texture to complement the crispiness of the cracker. Yeah, I'd say this is a pretty good holiday cracker because it's not too overpowering with the sweetness. So it could swing more onto the savory side if you wanted to. It's just a really good cracker. So it, it's not too overpowering on the sweetness. So you could have it more be a savory cracker if you added a really nice cheese to it or something like that. But overall, it's a pretty good cracker. Yeah. I'm excited to see how it tastes with the cranberry goat cheese. Yeah, let's try it with the cheese. Okay, so this is the cranberry goat cheese. I'd say that's a really good flavor combination of having the cranberry goat cheese with the cracker. Like the flavors just mingle really well. Yeah, when we tried a bunch of the cheeses previously from Trader Joe's, we tried the blueberry version of this, and this seems to be like the holiday cheese kind of inspired from that. And I think it's really good. I think the goat cheese itself is nice and like tangy, and it kind of balances the citrusy crispiness from the cracker. And then the cranberries add that nice kind of like tartness to kind of round out all of those flavors coming together. So two of these together are fantastic together. Yeah, I would say if you're having a holiday party and you want something that's like easy to bring, that's gonna be a crowd pleaser, these two together are really good from Trader Joe's. The next item we're trying from Trader Joe's is a trio of almonds, a caramel coffee almond, sesame honey almond and roasted salted almonds. So we got our three different types here. Regular uh, roasted salted almond. That one's kind of your just standard regular roasted almond. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, it's a little bit salty. Yeah, and then this one the... is the caramel coffee. It reminds me of having like a caramel macchiato kind of coating where you get the caramel and the coffee wrapping over um, an almond. So it's actually pretty good. The caramel coffee almonds to me taste like those little coffee candies you get sometimes at restaurants on the way out. Instead of an after dinner mint, you get those like coffee candies. They kind of remind me of that candy, of that kind of flavor of the sweet mix of the coffee. And then this one is a sesame honey almond. I think that one's like, okay. You do get like the sesame flavor, but the honey isn't super strong. And the honey kind of just acts as like the binder to mm -hmm. marry the almond and the sesames together and sesame is kind of on the back end overall i would say like all three nuts like had a good crunch to them and they weren't like overly like hard to eat for example yeah i would say they all have been roasted <coughs> really nicely and i would say kind of of the seasonings the one that's the caramel coffee has the strongest one um compared to the others but i would say it's a pretty good nut mix not too bad something that's different than just like a regular almond you know, something set up a little. They're pretty good. I mean, I like that they're kind of like a more seasonal and unique flavor of almonds that I haven't really seen before. So I would definitely eat them again. They're on the less sweet side, which is nice because there's already so many different sweet products out there. So if you want something that has a little extra flavor to it, but is not just purely sugary, these are a pretty good option. The next item we're trying is Trader Joe's Crispy Vegetable Pouches. Homemade crispy wontons filled with savory vegetables. Yeah, they come in these little pouches. I just cooked them about 10-ish minutes at 400 degrees in our toaster oven. For these ones specifically, they do recommend an air fryer if you have it, but we just don't want an air fryer. Oh, let's try these. Yeah. They feel like restaurant quality. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like I've had these at some kind of restaurant and like, cause they're nice and perfectly crispy on the outside, the filling is well seasoned. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, I think the is it green onion? It's kind of like, or scallion is kind of like one of the main defining flavors of it. Mm -hmm. And I think if we had a good dipping sauce, like either come with this or could find one at the store, those would complement a dipping sauce really well. Yeah, I feel like if you got one of the Trader Joe's gyoza dipping sauces, that would go really good with this. 
And the really nice thing is it's vegan, so anyone at your party can enjoy these ones too. The flavor, it's seasoned really nicely. So even if you don't have a dipping sauce, I would say it's good on its own. They're really nice and bite-sized, so you not too much just in one, so you can try many different things if you're at a party. But yeah, I'd say these would be a great appetizer to bring to a holiday party. If they're in the store, I would totally eat them again. Uh, the next item we're trying is Trader Joe's Ratatouille Bites. Traditional ratatouille ingredients coated in pink breadcrumbs and fried. So again, I just cooked these with the previous thing we just had, 400 degrees in our toaster oven for 10 minutes. Yeah, these look really good. They're nice and crispy and brown on the outside. Yeah. That is really good. That is seasoned wonderfully. Great outside texture with different textures inside with really good seasoning. This is, this is great. Yeah, this is really tasty. I mean, it is just like the last one we had and unlike some of the other stuff we've had before from the frozen section, this is well seasoned. And I think like you can kind of taste everything. You do get the flavors like, there's a strong like tomato flavor that goes along with it, which is part of the ratatouille. The crispy breadcrumbs is delicious mm -hmm. and everything else inside of it is tasty. Yeah, no, this is a really good, like another s little snack appetizer that you can bring to a party or just have it for yourself. But I don't think they need really any else to it. Like if you wanted to judge them up, maybe some like marinara sauce or something like that, or like some cheese on top. But they're just great by themselves too. Like fabulous little appetizer. They've come out with a couple of these kind of like breadcrumb surrounded kind of like fried things. And I think the last ones we had like those mac and cheese bites. Oh, those ones were good. <clears throat> and I, but I think these are better. Yeah, these, these ones are really good. They definitely have like the seasoning and the flavoring inside that kind of like elevates everything else. Well, and also into the flavors, the texture is really nice because mm. sometimes when you put it into that breaded panko breadcrumbs on the outside, the inside can kind of go mushy. But this one, I felt like the insides, you actually are getting the different textures of the vegetables. So it's not just a ball of mush. So I thought they did a great job from all perspectives of this. Yeah, I totally get these again. Yeah, no, these are real good. The next item we're trying is Trader Joe's Iced Gingerbread Squares, soft baked gingerbread bars glazed with icing. Recommends for making these is letting them defrost. They said either for an hour at like room temperature or for three hours in the fridge or like 15 second microwave intervals, but it just lets them out of room temperature. Yeah, it's got like the gingerbread underneath and icing on top. It's like nice and soft gingerbread. That's pretty good. The gingerbread is nice and soft. It's almost got like an old fashioned donut consistency. And then the icing is kind of crisp to mm -hmm. kind of give you contrasting flavors. It is like just sweetness kind of on the top, but it's not like overly powering. And then ginger's not super intense. Yeah, it's really nice. The gingerbread itself is actually soft. So it's not like a gingerbread cookie where it's like more hard and crisp. This is much more of that soft texture. And then the frosting on top, yeah, it is harder. The icing itself doesn't have much flavor. So it's really the gingerbread itself that's pulled the flavor for this square but overall it's pretty good probably not my favorite that we've tried but pretty decent if you want like something different that's still in the gingerbread family but that's not just a gingerbread cookie and it comes six to a package so if you only want one you only have to defrost one but if you want to serve for more defrost all package is really up to you the next item we're trying is trader joe's peppermint pretzel slims i mean it looks like it's just like a thin um, pretzel with like a yogurt coating and then some like candy canes sprinkled on top mm -hmm. that are both like white and pink Let's try. The coating on this is really reminiscent of the peppermint Jojo's that Trader Joe's has. It's very similar, kind of like that creamy flavor with the peppermint into it. And the pretzels are almost too thin where you're not really getting that salty flavor with it too. So it's just mostly that one note of sweet with the peppermint. You're not getting that nice balance of the, having the saltiness from the pretzel. Yeah, I think to me, they're just kind of generic and they're overly like sweet and they have too much of the ratio as you're saying is like a pretzel to the coating is wrong. To me, it just kind of reminds me of like it's white chocolate with a sprinkling of like candy cane on top. So I probably would not get these again just because they're kind of generic is what I feel. Yeah, I think if they made the pretzel bigger so you get more of that salty kind of um, pretzely texture in there, I think it would be better and then cut down a little bit on the sugar for the coating. I don't think these are probably the best item that they have, but there are a lot more pretzel flavored items in the holiday seasonal stuff. We just chose this one. So maybe lean towards one of the other ones instead. And I think there was even a variety pack of like four different types inside of it. So maybe try that one instead. The next item we're trying is Trader Joe's English Toffee Bites. 
a crunchy, buttery center enrobed in a chocolatey coating and sprinkled with chopped nuts. So they do have, this is like a small pouch worth, which is what I wanted to just try, but they do have a bigger size. So if you, we like these or you like them, there is a bigger version of that if you want. Yeah, they're like a nice little size. They got, you can see the nuts on the outside. That's a very standard English toffee flavor. So if you really like toffee, this one would be a good product for you. It's not too festive. Yeah, it's not overly sweet though. Mm -hmm. And I do link the toffee, I know it's just, we just opened the bag, but it's nice and fresh. So it is not like break your teeth hard or anything. It is nice kind of like crumbly, like somewhere a little bit sharper than like a Butterfinger kind of texture. Mm -hmm. Overall, I think it's okay. I would say it's just kind of like average, but for that small size, you can have a couple to try it for yourself. Yeah, this would be a great product if you are a toffee lover. It has a really good flavor. The textures are all right for a toffee and the ratios are really good. So it is, it is a really solid toffee, but you need to be a person who likes toffee. Yeah. The next item we're trying is Trader Joe's Dark Chocolate Covered Peppermint Jojo's. All right, so again, these are just like a candy cane stuck to some chocolate with a Jojo inside. I'm pretty sure the cream inside is also peppermint flavored. And for these kind of Jojos, if you've never had them before, they have a plain one, which is just like the sandwich cookies with the cream in the middle. And they have a variety pack of four different specialty ones, which includes this one in it. So if you've never had them before, I recommend that one because you'll get this one plus three other flavors. But this to me just always reminds me of like, this is the signal that it's holiday season at Trader Joe's. Yeah, this one they've had for many years and it's quite a classic. Um, so we always get it each year. I think for this cookie, it's a really good balance of the different flavors. So you get that peppermint flavor, but since they chose dark chocolate for it, it has that more of like cocoa flavor to it. So it really blends well with the other flavors. So nothing's too overpowering and it's not too sugary either. Because some of those ones, especially on the white chocolate, we can get really sugary. Whereas this one, it's not too bad. Yeah, and I like this one because it is like the mint in the middle part. It's kind of like almost like Andy's mint candies, mm -hmm. but it's really nice. And then the texture comes from both the cookie and the actual like peppermint on top. Mm -hmm. So these are just really well done. These are like probably one of my favorite like cookies that they come out with every year. Yeah, no, they, they do a great job with these every year. Yeah. So I would highly recommend getting these if you, if you see them at Trader Joe's. Yeah, especially if you've never had them before, because yeah. this is like the classic, like when I think of holiday stuff for Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. The next item we're trying is Trader Joe's vegan gingerbread loaf. So this was in their bakery section. Um, so it's not in the frozen or anything like that. I'm curious to see how this is as it's vegan and it's a gingerbread. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think the first thing I'll say is that I can't tell that this is vegan. Mm -mm. I do think that the ginger needs to be turned up. I think it almost needs some kind of like pieces of ginger inside of it. This has lots of ginger. Maybe I didn't get any ginger. Oh gosh, this was like really spiced, like way more ginger than the other stuff we've had before. Maybe now it's like lingering on the back of my mouth. Yeah, no, I would say this is a really well done loaf. You get really good notes of the ginger and the spices. So if you're a fan of gingerbread, this is a great product. It's a little bit on the drier side, so maybe if you wanted to have it with some ice cream or some whipped cream or something like that, that could really elevate this. But by itself, it's a pretty good loaf. Yeah, it's got tons of flavor in it. Yeah, I think it could pair well with like a tea if you wanted something. Ooh, yeah. To give you that kind of mixture of the two or coffee, depending if you're a coffee or tea person. I will say though, after trying it and lingering, the ginger is almost like a subtle heat where it kind of builds and lingers in the back versus just being like a punch of ginger. So it is more mild to begin and ramps up over time. So that's why I think at first when I tried it, I didn't get ginger, but now it's like my mouth is coated in ginger. Mm -hmm. And yeah, again, I can't, I would say the best thing about this is you can't tell that it's vegan. So it is a good option to satisfy anybody who wants it, even compared to like a regular gingerbread loaf. Yeah, I would also say that it doesn't taste too sweet. Mm -hmm. So if you've had a lot of those other sweet products that are just kind of like, too much. This one's a really good alternative to it because it's still on the, the sweet and the bakery side, but it's not overly sweet and it's more on that spice side of things. Trader Joe's has like stepped up their vegan game. Well, this one is just like, it's a solid loaf, but it also has a really good amount of flavor because that's the problem we've tried with so many of the other products. They're not flavored. Yeah. Like they don't have any flavor and yet here we are with the vegan loaf and it's like really good flavored. Yeah. It says ginger and it's in the ginger and bread loaf. So. Yeah. Yep. Good job, Trader Joe's. The next item we're trying is Trader Joe's Raspberry Croissant. The raspberry filling in there is really good. It tastes like almost like raspberry preserves. It's not too sugary. 
And you can really taste the raspberry flavor coming through. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a lot more like raspberry jam too, or filling inside of it. Not like a jelly, but like more like a jam. So mm -hmm. it's more like on the sweet savory side of things. It's tasty and the croissant itself is very buttery. Yeah, I would say this is a pretty decent product. You have to make sure you get to the actual raspberry because it's not completely covered in it. It's more in the center, so like around the edges, mm -hmm. it's more of the pastry, but so it's more in the center of the actual croissant that is actually got the raspberry in it. The next item we're trying is Trader Joe's Candy Cane JoJo's Ice Cream. So again, this is another product that they've had for multiple years now. Sometimes it can be hard to get. Yeah, sometimes they sell out really quickly for this. So this ice cream is really good. It's like, imagine if you took cookies and cream ice cream, but made it minty flavored. That's what this is, and it's really good. It seems like it's also swirled too, like almost like cookies and cream and peppermint ice cream swirl together. Mm -hmm. Then the cookie inside is a JoJo. So I think this is a fantastic ice cream. Yeah, each year they put it out and it's, it's just, it's a great product. Again, this also screams to us just the holiday season is here as it's just one of their really good seasonal ice cream flavors that they come out with. So yeah, if you see this one, would recommend getting it because it sometimes can be hard to find. Okay, the next item we're trying is Hark and Holly Blue Vine. It's a mold wine. So for this, it just says to heat and serve. So I heated it up to like 150, so it wasn't too hot. So cheers. Yeah. It's kind of like an adult version of like hot apple cider. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's not actually like too spiced into it. So, and the wine flavor is quite mellow. It's actually pretty good for being a mulled wine. I think it could be a little bit more spiced and more like flavorful, mm -hmm. but overall it's not a bad like equivalent of what this is. Yeah, no, I'd say this is a pretty good uh, mulled wine to try and like get into mulled wines as they're not as common in the state. And so, yeah, having this at Trader Joe's kind of something would be nice when it's nice and cold outside and it's snowing. Put a little of this on the stove to warm it up and yeah, you got some nice mulled wine. And if you want to enhance any of the specific flavors that are in it, like more cinnamony or whatever, I'm sure if you just let it steep in like a crock pot with the um, spices that you want to add to it to enhance it, that would work well as well. Yeah, this could be really nice of putting it, as you said, in a crock pot. And if you're having a party, you can just kind of have everyone just like self-serve for themselves and it always can just kind of stay at the nice temperature. So I think my favorite item, which comes back every year and I love getting it, is those dark chocolate covered peppermint Jojos with the candy canes on top. It, to me, it just, it screams holiday Trader Joe's foods and just and normally it's one of the first items arrived so it really is like the nostalgia for me and I think it's one of my favorites we had. For me it's gonna be the candy cane Jojo ice cream. That one it's like taking the peppermint Jojo's and then putting them into the ice cream form. So I'd say it's even better than just the cookies themselves. So that one is just it's a really classic Trader Joe's ice cream flavor. They bring it back each year and it's just, it's a really good flavor. Like you just, you can't go wrong with it. I think my most surprising was definitely the combo of the stolen crisps with the cranberry goat cheese. Those two together just married so well and the flavors blended really well. And I think I've been really impressed overall with a lot of the you know unique cheeses that Trader Joe's has. So having a crisp that goes well with it was really surprising and good to me. Yeah, for me, the most surprising was gonna be their ratatouille bites. Cause for those ones, sometimes their frozen sections for these appetizers not always are seasoned well. This one, it was great seasoning. The texture was great. It was nice and brown and crispy with the breadcrumbs. But then the inside, it wasn't just gooey. It had really nice texture of the different vegetables that were inside. So I would say that one was really good and kind of surprising of like, it just hit the marks for everything. The item I definitely would leave on the shelf was the peppermint pretzel slims. I just thought, honestly, the ratios are all wrong and it just like was too much yogurt and not enough pretzel. And I think the pretzel could have been a little saltier to kind of balance the sweet with the salty. So I just wouldn't buy those again. Yeah, I think instead of using their pretzel slims that they sell, but using actual regular pretzels where it's like thicker, I think that would have gone better for it. So. Maybe next year if they reformulate it, it could be a better product. But this year, again, it, it wouldn't be something I would reach for. Well, I hope you got something out of us trying all these different holiday things. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to holiday food at Trader Joe's. So let us know what your favorite item is down below. If you're new to the channel and like this type of stuff, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see similar videos to this one, click the video on the screen right now. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.